Today, the special visit of Secretary of State Antony Blinken. Now, he's arriving in Israel later today, part of his Middle East swing that began in Egypt yesterday and continued there today. Now, after meeting with top Israeli officials, he is set to meet with the Palestinian leadership as well in the West Bank. Now, in Egypt today, the Secretary of State already took on some of the tough topics at a press conference just a short while ago alongside his Egyptian counterpart, Sameh Shukri. There is no question that this is a very difficult moment. Um, we've seen the horrific terrorist attacks uh, in recent days. Uh, we've seen over um, many months rising violence that is uh, affecting so many. Um, as you've heard uh, very clearly, the condemnation from the United States of the, uh, the terrorist attacks, the president, the vice president, myself, uh, and we deplore overall the loss of innocent civilian life. Um, we'll be reiterating that message um, and encouraging the parties to take steps to calm things down, to de-escalate tensions. Um, we, uh, like Egypt, continue to stand behind the importance of working toward a, a two-state solution. Now we go to our defense correspondent, Jonathan Regev, who's in Jerusalem in anticipation of Blinken's arrival here. Jonathan, we get a, you know, a glimpse of the issues on the table here just at a press conference in Egypt. You've seen a lot of officials come and go here. I mean, this suddenly feels practically like a wartime visit. What's Blinken up to today when he gets to Israel? What were the last words there uh, that, that you played from the press conference? Two-state solution. Uh, is this something that uh, uh, some of the members of the Netanyahu government want to hear? Itamar Ben Gvir, Bezalel Smotrich? Clearly not. As far as them, and, and also as far as uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, what they want to speak about is Iran and the dangers it poses, the nuclear plan, the, the m ballistic missile plan. And yes, those agendas will be on the table, uh, but uh, will, will uh, uh, Anthony Blinken, the Secretary of State, speak about the two-state solution and what steps Israel could take uh, uh, towards that direction? I would say yes. And uh, is, is the current Israeli government one that is able to deliver those steps? Not so sure. If, if we look at if, uh, of the parties uh, that uh, make it up, so once Anthony Blinken arrives, I'm sure we will speak, uh, we, we will hear uh, many uh, messages about the very strong bond between uh, Israel and, and the United States, which is true. But behind closed doors, I think there are uh, quite substantial differences on, on many issues between the Biden administration and the Netanyahu government. And, and those uh, differences will be put on the table, clearly.